Okay, this is the third and final part to the tutorial for the Gear Cubes Extreme and Ultimate. The last two parts I solved everything except for the rotation of these gears. And now, for both of these puzzles, solving the rest of it will be exactly the same because I've already dealt with these two, with these problems right here. That was the most difficult part of this puzzle. So, the first thing I want to do is to take any row of gears that have three or more pieces that are not rotated correctly, put them aligned with each other as much as I can. And I'm just going to rotate these in intervals of two full spins. So a full spin being once like that, and then twice. So I'm going to keep doing that until two or less gears are left, like this. From here, I can't really do anything else, so I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. I'm going to do the same with this one. This one has three unsolved over here, once, and there's only two left. So I'm going to have to leave it like this. Okay, so now it's the same for both of them, but I'll just start with the extreme. And for this one, I need a corner piece, once on the bottom, to be facing a bit to the left and another one to be facing a bit to the right like this. What I want to do is to put them opposite of each other on the bottom layer. So one over here, one over here. So this one's facing a bit to the left, this one's facing a bit to the right, so I'm going to put this one down here. And it's important that you memorize exactly what you do here, once over and one, twice down, so that you can put this back to normal after you've done the algorithm. The algorithm is pretty lengthy, so it's you have to remember it or it's just not going to work out well. So from here, after I have these two here, with the one pointing slightly to the left in front, I'm going to do R, U, R, U, 4, R, inverted, U, inverted, R, inverted, U, inverted, R, inverted, 2, D, R, U, R, U, 4, R, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, 2, D. And remember exactly what you did before. In my case, this 2, once over like that. And so that solves those two. Now there's only this one left. But the algorithm I used earlier swaps both of these at the same time. So for this one, I want to have this piece up here, so one piece up here, and then what I'm going to do is swap these two so that these two are both incorrect. From there, I can just rotate it in intervals of two like before, and that'll leave two gears that are unrotated. So it'll become clear once I've done it. So I'm going to have this piece in the front on the top, from here it's the same exact algorithm. R U, R, U, 4, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, 2D, R, U, R, U, 4, R, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, and 2D. Now there's three of these in a row that are incomplete. From here I'm going to rotate an interval of two full spins until there's two left and it'll end up with one facing slightly to the right one slightly to the left like I had it before so I'm going to put this one right here and they have to be side by side on the green or blue side not across an orange, red, purple or yellow like this so I'm going to put this one over here remember exactly what you did two, down, two up over here, two over like that same algorithm, R, U, R, U, 4, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, 2D, R, U, R, U, 4, R, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, and 2D. And put it back as it was, and you saw the gear cube extreme. 
Now, the ultimate, as I said before, everything else is exactly the same once you've gone over the problem of this. So, I'm going to do the same thing as before, find two corner pieces, uh, two gear pieces, which has one slightly to the left, one slightly to the right. This one's pointing slightly to the right, and this one's pointing slightly to the left. So I'm going to have those opposite of each other. Same algorithm. R, U, R, U, 4R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, 2D, R, U, R, U, 4R, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, and 2D. And put this one back as it was. And look at this. This one goes slightly to the right. This one also goes slightly to the right. So in this case, I'm just going to have both of them opposite of each other anyway. And what will result is this one will be solved. This one will be cocked in that direction. So from here, I'm just going to mess it up so that there's only one piece remaining. And from there, I'm going to do exactly what I did before on the GearCube Extreme. So same algorithm from here. R, U, R, U, 4, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, 2D, R, U, R, U, 4, R, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, 2D. And put this one back as it was. And like I said, there's only one left. Now, like before, I'm going to put this on the front and on the top. Same algorithm again, R, U, R, U, 4, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, 2D, R, U, R, U, 4, R inverted, uh, just 4, R, and then U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, 2D. Again, there's three gear pieces that has to be rotated. Rotate in intervals of two full spins. And you'll end up with one slightly to the left, one slightly to the right. So put this one down here. Again, the same algorithm. R, U, R, U, 4, R, inverted. U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted. 2D. R, U, R, U, 4, R. U inverted, R inverted, U inverted, R inverted, and 2D. Put this one back as it was. And you solve the gear cube ultimate. Thank you for watching.